when Dad rolled out the six millionth barrel, um, Julian uh, Van Winkle gave me uh, as a gift to my dad this bottle of 20-year-old Pappy. So I take the bottle and I open it up and I pour a little bit in his glass, pour a little bit in my brother's glass, pour some in my glass and I go to put the stopper back in the bottle and he looks at me and he gives me this weird look and he says, what on earth are you doing? I said, Dad, I don't understand. I said, this is a really, really good bottle of bourbon. I said, it's really being sought after. He said, I'm aware of that. He, I said, I said, so what I'm thinking is, I'm just saving it so that we can do some more toast later on. He says, never, ever do that with friends and family. There will always be more old barrels of bourbon being made. He says, look at me and look at your brother. He says, we're the fragile part of this whole thing. He said, so never ever save old bottles of bourbon, okay? They're meant to be enjoyed with friends and family at the moment. It was the first time that my father and my brother and I had spent three hours together, just us, talking, laughing, uh, discussing things that we had done that we didn't think he knew we had done. And then we started telling him about things that he had done that he didn't know that we knew he had done. We had the best time. We finished the bottle. Nine months later, they were both gone. It's not about the whiskey. It's about the lives you touch and the people you meet. And the whiskey is a byproduct of a good relationship.